Hello everyone and welcome to Chris's Collection. Uh, today we are playing uh, Gears of War 2. Um, so last time we covered a Gears game, it was the first game, and uh, I gushed over it, over how much I I loved it, and I did. I think it's great. Uh, oh god, excuse me. Uh, Gears of War one uh was my introduction to it obviously i i you know i wasn't a big microsoft gamer i i you know i talked about xbox and i wasn't really huge on it um as always uh as much as i did with 360 but by the time gears 2 was coming out uh oh my god i was so hyped for it i mean it was like the first game was so good it was so like just this excellent co-op adventure game that just you know like not reinvented the shooter but just i don't know man brought so much life into the shooter and i had such fond memories of playing it and obviously the art style was amazing you know everything was just like perfect um, so for the sequel, uh, I was hyped for it. I was like, oh man, you know, this game's gonna be great. Oh, it's gonna be so fun. And, um, uh, you know, I, I pre-ordered it, of course, at my local GameStop. And, uh, I was super stoked for it. And then it came out, and it's not a bad game. I think Gears of War 2... You know, it was marketed. I remember Cliff Bublinski used to call it. Uh, he used to be like, it's bigger, badder, and better. That's what he used to say. And my friend and I, my friend Brian and I, would kind of roll our eyes like, ugh, that's such like generic marketing. I don't know, it just seemed like, you know, like, what, what would be on the back of like Armageddon 2 if they ever made that? Or like, you know, any any Michael Bay film, this would be on the back cover. Um, so it was just kind of stupid. Um, and the game came out, and it's it's not a bad game. I don't think it's the weakest in the Gears series. I think that goes to Gears Judgment, which we will get to later. Um, but I think of the core Gears games, uh, like Gears 1, 2, and 3. You know, it, it's... I don't know. Like, the first game just had such a great atmosphere. There's all these hints of, like, this amazing world, and, like, we really, you know, had, like, a, even a mix of horror in it a bit, you know? Um, and then the sequel was, like, it was, like, a really big action movie. Obviously, the stuff with Maria was really important with Dom. Um, and then the third game, just holy crap, man third game was so epic like it, it really just brought finality in such a great way um i don't know i'd have to replay gears 4 actually no you know what gears 1 2 and 3 is pretty flawless yeah the the original trilogy is is pretty damn great uh through and through i think um that this new trilogy like gears 4 and 5 like they're they're good, are but these are just Delta so squad? good. Like they really held up very well. Um, but yeah, um, that was that's my story. You know, it wasn't. It was kind of like everyone's story, right? Like, <laughs> it was a big hyped game. It was Microsoft's big game for, uh, I think it was 2008. Yeah, it was 2008. Um, not that and yeah, I was here. I was just into Xbox on, already, man. Like I I love my 360, oh, yeah. and this was just welcome to Delta. It wasn't my intro. Like Gears One was my intro to the 360, and this was like just it's me. An honor to serve with you, sir. you know, like hey guys, I hear join in. Um. Yes, sir. Anyway, I know we just started playing, but there's a lot of games, guys. So that's today's episode. Uh, later this week, we will be covering uh the Gears Three, the conclusion to the OG uh, Gears trilogy, uh, but certainly not the last game um, for uh, my uh, Xbox 360 Gears games. Sadly not. Um, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Uh, we're actually going to be finishing the Gs in June, so that's going to be really interesting. Um, yeah, like last month we began it, and uh, this month we will end it, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.